It is super nice out today. A little bit breezy, but not too bad. And I think we're gonna start burning and clearing this brush. We've been trying to figure out what to do with all this brush we're creating. And we've been getting some good suggestions, but we're not gonna compost it because it takes years and years to compost a brush pile. Um, you need a good mix of brown and green and all that. And we just have brown. We have a lot of sticks. So we're just gonna burn it. And I think we're gonna burn it right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to cut down this dead tree. If I can cut that down, I'm gonna burn the brush right where that is. Okay, that tree is like almost 10 inches wide. And all I have is this, probably an eight inch blade. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's all I got, I'm gonna try it. It's working through. It's gonna be a mess to clean up. A little more. Well, that wasn't very exciting. I think I just made more of a mess for myself. But the tree's coming down. We're almost there. I don't know if you're seeing this, but I'm just demolishing this tree with this tool. Wow, I can't say enough how much I love this. I just broke my blade. Well, there it is. It bound up on it. Looks like everybody's not coming out to see me. It's beautiful, I'm sweating out here. Hello, boy. He's so cute. <laughs> um, I broke my blade. Like it broke? Yeah. Was this always this high? Yeah. We're gonna keep filling it up until we run out of time, I guess, right? Today's just a burning day. And while we're out here burning the brush, I've been cutting down brush in here. Except for the bigger trees that I can't get with the loppers. What are you doing? Nothing. Falling? Yeah.
now the fire is going hot and we're moving along a little quicker. But while that's burning down, we have some brush up by the house that needs cutting. So let's go. Haircut needs to be cleaned, but at least it's cut. Now back to cutting more brush, burning brush. Look at my, look how quick this goes out. Look at that. You really gotta keep an eye on this thing. Okay, we got the fire going hot. It's burning up so fast that so we're just piling stuff on. It looks crazy big, like it's gonna burn the trees down, but it's not too bad in person. Um, we're trying to keep it safe, keep it clean around the fire, and we're just clearing it, clearing the land. So this is what it looks like now. We still have all of this to burn. It's really open now. So we've had a lot of suggestions about using a brush hog or finding a neighbor with a brush hog or buying one uh, with a tractor. And the reason we're not doing that is because we don't have the money to, to buy one or rent one. Um, we don't know anybody really around here yet, but also because this is very thick and there's actually a lot of big trees scattered throughout it. So it would be hard to get a tractor in here realistically. Some of these trees are two, three inches wide and just too thick for a brush hog. Um, we also don't mind doing the work by ourselves. We kind of enjoy clearing the land, so. Um, I don't know, we'd rather just take our time, decide what we're keeping, what we're leaving, and clear it by hand. And it's actually going pretty quick, Yeah. considering we've only been here a month or so. Now we are going to start cheating a little, and we plan on buying a chainsaw at some point, because some of these trees are going to be just too much to deal with, uh, with our reciprocating saw. And we also plan on buying a uh, weed eater, you know, weed trimmer. Um, because a lot of this could be trimmed very quickly with a weed whacker. So we're gonna be investing in a couple of new tools and um, that should speed up the process too. Also, if we got a tractor and a brush hog, after this is clear, we're not really gonna need it anymore. So just a long-term investment doesn't make sense for us right now. Thank you. 